Mark and welcome to the Stick Shift Masterclass. And welcome to Donagadee in Northern Ireland. I've lived here for the past 20 years working as the town's driving instructor. In that time I've taught well over a thousand people to drive, men and women of all ages and all of them with a stick shift transmission. So I know that driving stick could take many thousands of frustrating miles to really master, even for an experienced driver of automatics. So that's where I come in. I'll explain every component in simple language and break down every action with clear demonstrations. I'm here to teach you the art of driving stick. And along the way, you'll see some nice cars and a little bit of this part of Northern Ireland too. Over the next half hour, I'm going to be explaining the clutch and the four essential clutch control skills that you'll need to master your stick shift car. I'll also show you the one simple secret that will save you from ever stalling the motor. And of course, we'll be discussing the gears and the different techniques for shifting those gears. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the controls that we're going to be using. There are three controls involved in driving stick. They're the parking brake, gears and clutch. We'll start with the clutch because clutch control is the foundation on which driving stick is built. Now we all know that the gas makes your car go faster and the brake slows it back down. But the clutch isn't quite so straightforward. You see, sometimes pressing that clutch pedal down will make your car stop, but other times it'll make you go faster. Confusing? Well, it's all down to an effect known as coasting. So let's head over to the workshop and explain coasting, how the clutch works, and try and clear things up. 